So most of us have days when we can't get off the couch or we just think we don't want to leave the house or um, we're hearing those little voices in our heads telling us that we simply aren't as good as we think we are. In fact, those voices are telling us that we're not any good at all. And what we need to do is just stay in the house, not expose the rest of the world to our incompetence or um, our lack of intelligence. We all have those issues once in a while. But imagine what it's like to have those issues 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day when you simply don't feel like getting off the couch or 24 hours a day when you feel like you are nothing and nobody cares and that voice in your head is yelling at you, reminding you that in fact, you are right. You are nothing and nobody cares. Well, that's what it's like to be living with mental illness. Our guest today, our really, our guest today our, was an amazingly brave woman from my point of view. She doesn't see herself as being particularly brave. She sees herself as an advocate, a voice for folks who are living with mental illness. In fact, what she and I talked about is the fact that she simply doesn't care what people think about who she is or where she has come from, that she is profoundly proud of who she has become. Leslie Miller is that person that we're talking about. She's with us this week on, in our discussion of living with mental illness. And she talks about that journey of not getting, wanting to get off the couch and all those other things that I told you about. We take so much for granted in this life, but when you listen to Leslie Miller, and you listen to her journey and how she copes every day when a victory for her some days can simply be getting dressed. I think you'll look at mental illness completely differently. I'd really like for you to join us on this episode of To The Point. It's about living with mental illness. It's important for you to know what that's really, really like. It might change your point of view on some things. I'll see you soon.